A vicious computer virus that's just been released by cyber criminals is now making the rounds. And this one is more aggressive and more destructive than its predecessors. In fact, last night, it surfaced in the home of our very own Paula Tutman. She called in some cybersecurity experts, and they've explained now why everyone needs to pay attention to this bug. I know for a lot of our stories, we talk to victims because they're the ones who can explain how something is impacting them. But today, I'm the victim. My family's the victim. Last night, my 15-year-old stepdaughter was simply listening to music on her personal laptop when this menacing screen popped up. It's called ransomware, and it literally holds every document, photograph, and shred of data hostage for ransom. This one is the Department of Justice scam. There's also one that says FBI. It uses very scary language. Illegal activities performed on this computer accuses you of accessing child pornography. And the clincher, it instructs you on how to pay $300 in 48 hours, or it will wipe out everything. It is a scam, except they actually do have control of your resources. You are hosed. At U of D Mercy's Center for Cybersecurity and Intelligence Studies, they've seen the close relative before, but this is a new version of a crypto locker. They call it 2.0. This is your file on your computer. Crypto locker uses a locking key to encrypt your file and make it an encrypted file. You can't touch that encrypted file anymore. In order to open that encrypted file, you need this unlock key which is on the bad guy's computer. And even if you pay the ransom, and experts suggest you don't, but even if you do to get your files back, the virtual criminals keep control over your encrypted files. If you get them back, they'll likely be garbled and unusable, and the criminals keep control of your computer. They can keep coming back for more, forever, because they know you'll pay. These are criminals. Don't believe what the criminals say. The criminals say, don't turn off your computer. What should you do? Turn off your computer. Why? Because they need time to encrypt all your files. To protect yourself, never open any unfamiliar links in emails. But also download something called a virtual box at virtualbox.org. It is free. Inside of here is another version of Windows 7. Anytime you surf the web, read email, do banking, do absolutely anything with social media, or do anything web related, the virtual box keeps viruses from sneaking into your actual system. And you're saying, you can play in this box, but if you're a virus, I'm just going to delete you. You can't get out of that box into the, uh, the real world. So obviously the best way to protect yourself from the virus is to not get it to begin with. So you've got to find that virtual box, install it, and use it. And then, of course, this is going to be your new best friend, an external drive. Back up, back up, back up, and then unplug it. Back to you.